Yeah, yeah. On TV, a terrorist attack wipes out almost every elected and appointed leader. What's a designated survivor? That's when a high-ranking government official is hidden during the State of the Union speech, just in case. Well, it happened on the show. Sir, you are now the president of the United States. For New Mexico's former governor, Bill Richardson, that possibility was real. I was a designated survivor in the year 2000. Uh, my last year as cabinet secretary. Did you know what it was to be the designated survivor? I really didn't. I didn't know the enormity and how serious this was. At the time, 16 years ago, Richardson was secretary of energy. He got the call from then Clinton chief of staff, John Podesta. I love State of the Unions. I used to go as a congressman. I go as a cabinet member. I love to hear the president. Well, you can't go this time. You're the designated survivor. But he wasn't hidden in an underground bunker. It had to be within a certain radius of Washington, D.C. I picked a little town in Maryland. He went to a friend's house and with him an entourage of security, fire trucks, and police. It's a lot of the townspeople came over to the house and said, what's going on? What, what happened? And, and of course we explained and everybody was fine, but that little town got a little notoriety and probably the most excitement they ever had. He thinks since 9-11, the rules have changed and designated survivors must stay closer to the Capitol. Now it's, it's possible something, some kind of explosion might take place now with all the terrorism that's happening. So you know, you, you got to think about being responsible, uh, knowing what your responsibility is if you are a designated survivor, and it's no laughing matter. You'll remember last week, Royal.